me, Nessa Pets, and I am here to talk about my pet, what my very first pet and her passing with my sister. Uh, and I plead the fifth. <laughs> and my big brother, he's catching the brother cat. Fifi was my very first pet, and she recently passed away a month ago due to a rare disease. She had got a tumor cancer. She had she only lived for three months extra. Here you go. He's chosen Vanessa. Every time I see the ball, he's chosen me. He's chosen me. When Fifi first came, um, we had a my dad used to come home from work, and he brought this cat. I called her mama cat. My brother calls her. That's what dad called her green eyes. She has these beautiful green eyes. She would come to our house, and my mom would try to scare away the broom, but it always kept coming back. And it ended up being pregnant and gave birth to three kittens. The first litter, it, we couldn't see them, but then she then in August, when at grandma's house, mom called us on the phone and said, oh, the cat gave, baby, gave birth to babies. Yes. The first cat's name, the first two males and one female. The female is mine. The first one name is. Yeah. No, first cat name is Tiger. This okay. is the second cat. His name is Simba. Tiger got his name from when Tiger was a kitten and my mom picked Tiger as her own. Tiger bit my mom and she started to cry because it was so painful that she gave it to the so my brother. He's a chunky. But then Tiger had chose my dad over bit my brother. The second one name is Simba who walked away. Bougie looking, bougie cat. And he's chunky now. Simba was named after the lion. After my mom had saw the Lion King, she gave Simba his name. So nowadays we call Simba Prince Simba because he's such a spoiled brat. No, no, no. Knows what he wants. He'll drag you downstairs, telling, "I want chicken. I want this." You tell him no chicken. He'll scratch your arm leg. Yeah. And he also wears a blue car because he's my mom's favorite cat. And no one's allowed to hurt her cat that's, unless they get an iron fist from my mom. That's especially uh, Sylvester. The he next, will scratch you. The next pet is my cat, Kiki. When Kiki was a little, she was a girl cat. And I remember my mom was giving her a bath, and my mom asked me, what did I want to name her? First, I wanted to name her Ariel of a little mermaid. Because I was, Ariel was the first Disney movie I ever saw, and I loved it. Mine. But then my brother was in love with Shrek, so I thought of it Ooh. because I remember seeing Shrek a lot in my growing up. So I thought her original name is called is Fiona. So I called Fiona after the character of Shrek's wife. But nowadays we just call her Fifi. She don't, she wouldn't even recognize her original name. Fiona, short for Fifi. Hurt the truck. was the type of cat that would climb around, knock stuff down, climb on the walls, hunt birds and mice. What's I remember this time when she brought a bird and a mice to the house. It was it had flu on it, so I told her so I told her to drop it. How did Dad react to it? She wanted she wanted her to eat it. I didn't want to get so. And remember Kiki brought a bird and my dad and hope my dad he ran off and told my mom to pick it up so my mom stupid bird threw it out. Hey Vanessa, what? You don't give a bug Fifi to save me. Sit down. Fifi was like a hunting cat. The other two cats, her two brothers are lazy actually. To be honest, they're kinda of a little lazy, but Fifi wasn't. She would bring like mice and birds to the house and my dad would be scared of them. And we would have to my mom would have to throw it away. And she would also eat the little bugs and insects in our old house. Another thing about Fifi, her favorite food is crab. Right? Crab? Yeah. Yeah. Whenever grandma would come over, Fifi would always attack my grandma and she would start meowing and meowing and meowing. And my mom and I would go to Ralph's and get crab and have crab and steak and I would always take my crab secretly to my room and grab Fifi and I would always just sneak in some crab because I never really ate. I used to always just give to the cat. Um, you're not a pussy cat. I don't. I used to give it to Fifi. I just used to give it to Fifi a lot. Tiger and Simba used to bully Fifi if I remember because she was the girl cat so they would bully her. Tiger and Simba would be together but Fifi was the one that was getting bullied by the both of them so sometimes I would have to sit Fifi was that type of cat that loved men over the girls. Sometimes people would run away from me and she would leave me. 
be in my mom and dad's room, being with my dad. Sometimes people would just be in a room with my dad watching the Laker game or knocking stuff down the drawers. I had plenty of glass of water with some base with some fruit flowers in it. And suddenly, you know, if he could knock it down and I put it back and she just kept knocking it down and I kept looking at her. And sometimes when I would bring my mom poop and Kiki would crawl from under the bed and hop on top of the drawer and just start knocking things down and mess with my mom. I love Kiki. Kiki would even um, climb on the refrigerator. She would hop right there and then she would climb on the refrigerator and she would knock the box of cereal down and I would see her. And her favorite treats were, um, what are they called? She had these favorite treats. Whenever I took a bag of treats, she loved them. She would scream me out for them. She would be screaming out for these treats that she, I forgot the name of the people. We have them over there, but she would scream cry. Sometimes I would leave, I would fall asleep and I would leave them on my bed or sometimes they're near my bed. And then I would hear someone like, cracking chips open or something like that and it would keep it clawing her nails into the bag of the treats to cut it open and eat them all. She <laughs> would just rip open the bag of treats and eat and she would put her nails in it and try to get it out. Fifi had such a beautiful meowing noise. She was such a pretty cat. She was my cat. No. She was my cat. No. Yes, she was. No. Yes, she was. It's just because she won't be on the phone. She is on the phone. When? She is. When? Why are you drinking on me? Oh! I have to see on my phone. Well, let's talk about her. Every time we pick her up, she did not like that. She used to like grab her bra. Every time you pick her up, she didn't know, like me to go. Because she had got cut, Fifi had got sprained in her, so after that day she was sprained. She never liked to be picked up anymore because they took something out. And it messed her up. If we pick her up, she'll choke and die. No. Yeah? That's when she was sick. Fifi never liked to be around my cousins. Never did. She couldn't stand up. One time my cousin, my cousin had some chicken from GameStop and he would eat it and she came from under the bed and she would meow and meow and start scratching out and he would give her chicken but after he finished all the chicken was all gone and he tried to touch her she growled on hit him and ran under the bed. That Matt laughed at him. She was cool. When my uncle would come over, he would sit right on the couch with them and, and watch him play video games. She would even be in my dad's room watching him watch. With him watching the Laker game, she would sometimes be sitting right on the. She would be sitting right on the desk. She was sitting there, and I would just call her name because I sometimes would like to hear her meow. Are you crying? I can tell. She's crying. Yeah, look at what she's saying. Sometimes I still call Kiki and she never responds because I know she's not there. Sometimes I think she's still there, so I call her because I have four cats and now I have three. Mm -hmm. What is her heart Ah, never. Sometimes when I feed them, I would call her out and then I realized that she wasn't there. And then I stopped, it was like, and she never responded back. When she passed away, Sim and Tiger knew it because they hid right behind me in the fireplace and just looked at her. They knew that the sister was gone. And they looked so sad and her brothers looked sad and they just looked at her knowing that she was passed on. 
We had our body cremated and it took about 10 weeks at least for them to bring her. And we had just got the body. My cat's cremation. This is our cat. She was like, she had black, orange, radiant. She was pretty and she had the same tail as her brother Simba. So sometimes when I see the tail stud of the body, I would say Simba, but then it would turn out to be Fifi. And I said, what? And when I would hear that, she hated the dabs. She would just be. She used to start meowing and meowing. Sometimes you don't realize what you've lost until it's really gone. Have you realized that a little bit? Thank you so much. She's no longer here. Hey, babe. She was my very first pet. She was my cat. And I no longer have a cat to get crap to if I ever get crap. Because the others don't really like crap. Or someone to climb in the walls with the mosquitoes. Oh, bruh. Baby! Don't cry, don't cry. Fifi is right up there. Her body. No, not. We just got Fifi a few days ago. And I've been waiting and waiting for my cat to come. Here's Fifi now. Since we're not paying, we start to pay. They say this oil and cocoa. These ones on the floor sleeping. Okay. I remember calling my cousin and told him that Nikki wasn't going to be here anymore. He was sad. I remember that was probably when she died. I was a kid at Kevlar. And Sarah was asleep. And we were watching like a, like a Bible movie. It was Cash on the Price or something. Yeah, about Jesus. Yeah, and he said when he died, she died too. That's what it's like coming out of her eyes, though, back in for a body. I don't want to see that part without seeking. I will turn the camera on. She's still my cat. No. No. Hi, Mr. Cole. You can't hold me with no. I'll touch you. Hi. This is the last thing I've been doing. Good. Fifi crossed the regular bridge. Who's that? She died and she had a thing. You don't know where her roots go. Of course they go to heaven. The Bible is the same as the same. You can see it off of Kukai. You can see it in all her paths. Fifi used to watch, we had 
for you guys can hear in the background, there's a fish tank. Kiki used to sit right there and watch the fish tank and try to hope that one day a fish will fly out the fish tank and she can grab it. But at least she got birds and stuff. Are you sure her body's in there? I'm not sure if they gave me my chance for all these fish. I think it's Kiki. When the animals pee me, they don't come out saying they put the body in the jar. Boom! Mm -hmm. Hey guys, I'm back. That day, that night, we knew that that was the day that um, Fifi was gonna leave. She wasn't alright. She was in my mom's hands for a while. Till 12, my mom put her on the floor with the towels. Me and my mom's sister went to sleep on the couch. And I stayed up. And my dad sat down. And he would come downstairs a lot to check on me and Fifi. My mom put on a particular movie. She put on this movie. She put on Jesus. She put on the Jesus movie and I was watching it. And it turned to the part where people people started started moving. You know where the part where Jesus is like, when they start Jesus, he started getting nailed in the cross. That's when dad came downstairs and he looked at me and said, everything's going to be all right. She's going to be okay. And when the point where they start nailing Jesus into the cross, that's when Fifi started to make, started making noise. And so she was like, she was giving for a gasp of air. And I turned around and dad said, uh oh. That's when I knew my cat was, she was dying at that time. She kept moving, moving, and then she stopped doing it. Uh, I thought it, it was okay, I thought everything, and I kept looking at the TV, and I kept looking back at her, and then the point where Jesus says some words, and he puts his head down, Fifi took her last breath of air, and I looked at her and I moved her tail and her arm and her legs and she was gone. And it was 3 a.m. And I, my mom and Sky were sleeping. I woke them up. Said the cat was gone. And I was crying, I was screaming, crying. I said, I wanted my cat. My mom tried to bring her brothers closer to her. But Simba and Tiger ran away, and they would look at her. Simba and Tiger were just looking at the corner. They didn't want to come near Fifi. The only cat that came near her was Sylvester. Sylvester sniffed her and looked at her and walked away. But Simba and Tiger were just standing there at the corner of the house, just looking at her. Sky, my little sister, didn't understand what happened to Fifi and why everyone was crying. I never really see my dad cry, actually, but he cried when the cat died. My sister, she didn't understand what was going on until later on. Sometimes when we go to sleep, my sister would start crying and crying, and I would ask her, why are you crying when it was nighttime? She said... I miss Fifi 
I wish Fifi was back. And now, my sister wants to get a new cat to replace the old cat, but you can't replace that cat. Didi! 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 Delilah! Dogs. Just dogs. And I looked at the TV and I started to think. Where is Fifi now? She was gone. And then these people came and they picked her up. And my dad looked at her and I like, ran into the garage where my dog's outside and started crying. And I was holding on to my dogs. Holding on to Mac, my Rockweather, crying, crying. Because I lost my dog, my cat. Sometimes. I still call her, but that's when I realized that she's not there. I wonder if her brothers know that her sister's not here anymore. crying and crying and then I was praying that I see my cat one more time I was praying that she'd be in Jesus' lap that Jesus would have my cat Pidgey Lady Puppy Dilla what? what are you doing what are you eating what are you doing Ew. Ew. Don't give me no kiss. I saw you were eating. I was praying. One night I may see my cat one more time. And then I had a dream of her. Because I miss her. In the dream I saw her, she was much healthier. She was happier. And she was running in the grass. And I cried. Because I still miss her. But it's okay. Because dying is a part of life. Even though we miss them so much, it's okay. We're only on this earth for a short amount of time. So are our animals. The animals have to go back to... I hope I'm saying this right, but... Everyone in this world has a purpose, so do animals, and they only have a short amount of time on this earth. And one day, we're just going to have to wake up and realize that all our animals are going to one day go back, just like we are. Like, they die, we're going to have to die too. And it's going to hurt, because those animals are a part of your life, and they're a part of your family. Fifi was a part of my family, and I'm never going to forget that cat, because she was my first cat. Because her brothers don't like crab as much as her, so when I get crab, I don't do what to give it to. But it's okay. Because I know Fifi's in a better place, and she's happier. But my little sister doesn't know that. Because sometimes Sky will cry, missing Fifi, one Fifi back, saying she was my cat. She was my cat. And she was our cat. And I want children to know that it's okay. Because one day we're gonna have to disappear too. But it's all right. Because dying is a part of life. And that's how the world recycles. And I wrote a book for Fifi. Now I'm gonna share with you guys about death. While I'm outside with my big dogs, because it's nice and peaceful and it's quiet and the wind is blowing outside. It's a nice time outside. And I have my two dogs right here. Maxine and Delilah. I'm talking about you, Maxine. Maxine. Dee Dee. 
and and I know one day that my two older cats because of their mom because they're triplets and they're all 10 years old that one day my cats are gonna leave me and I'm gonna be so sad but it's okay they'll always be a part of my heart she'll always be a part of my heart I'll always remember her the reason I'm telling you is because I had my cat cremated and her body came yesterday. And in this video, I'm going to show her cremation. Not the, the, the body, just the, what she's in. I'm not going to take it outside because my two big dogs will jump me and knock down the glass. I know you will. I'll be right back with the, the video. I made the story run and I'm going to read you guys about that. Maxine and Didi. And it does include some words from the Bible. So if you don't like it, it's okay. You can leave. So now I have the story that I wrote about my cat. And I'm going to read to you guys. Fifi's journey over the Rainbow Bridge. Once upon a time, there was a feline named Fifi. She was, the, she was one of three triplets. She was also the youngest, of, but most physically and lively among her brothers, Tiger and Simba. Fifi was fond of spending time with her favorite owner. I call my dad Homer. That's his name in the book. It's called Homer. Sitting, eating, and conversating with him. Being a natural climber, she loved scaling the walls like a regular cat while chasing mice and listening to bird songs. She never imit She had an imitation of fondness for crab. My son, whenever her grandmother visit, Fifi would possibly feast on it like a cuisine. Despite Fifi growing obsession with her favorite food, she continued being an active feline. She would often meow and meow and meow and play fiercely with Homer. Her name, Fifi, came from a character, Fiona and Shrek, and changed previously to her name. One day, Fifi's health started to decline, and Homer and his daughter, Death, says, rushed to the vet. Unfortunately, she was diagnosed with grim, and people were suffering from a tumor. And, and she only had three months to live. The vet advised to spend most time with her as much as they possibly could. Nessa knew Phoebe was intimately. She spent many days with her. Once she had learned of Phoebe's fate, she wondered, where would Phoebe go once she had died? What does the Bible say might happen about animals dying? As it has happened, according to the Bible, Jesus allows humans to adopt and care for animals because every animal belongs to him. However, one day all animals will have to return to the rightful owner, Jesus, the, and the creator. Although she would miss Phoebe quite badly, Nessa knew that our cat would be happier in heaven where she could join her first owner, Jesus, and he would take, who would take very good care of her, better than Nessa could ever. Finally, the end of all happened. When Fifi died and the family sat together on the couch talking about Fifi's passing, her brother and Tiger Simple, who were sorrowed when she was sick and appeared to be better, to be better now and restored. Although the, through the family, Nessa tells kids that death is a, is a, sorry, Nessa tells kids that death is natural of an animal's life, the same is it for humans. However, their pets will be taken care of and welcomed in heaven by Jesus. There is no specific Bible verse elaborating about pets going to heaven. However, there's a few verses that suggest that it's possibly true that pets do go to heaven. Ephesians chapter three, verse 19 through 21 says, for it happens to, to the children of the man and what happens to the beast as, is the same. As one dies, so the other dies. They all have the same breathe, and they all go to one place. For all from the dust, and, and all will return to dust. Who knows whether the spirit of man goes upwards, the spirit of a ghost goes downwards into earth. And that's it. Okay, this is the last one. Although the scriptures are silent about pets eternal, they do emphasize the bond between humans and animals is incredibly linked. It's also above scripture. 
God loves and cares about every aspect of his creation, man or animal. This might be suggested that animals have a special and a grand scheme in heaven, a special place in heaven. And that's it about Fifi's Journey of Arabia by Nessa Smith. Thank you guys for listening to me about my cat. It, you guys, it's okay. It's a part of life. They're gonna come and go. Right now, my parents are trying to get a new dog. I'm not taking care of the new dog. <laughs> I don't want to be around the I have dogs. But dying is a part of life, and it's okay. Even though it hurts so bad, it's okay. Thank you guys for tuning in on this video. And here are some pictures of my cat. Goodbye. Mm -hmm. Hey, hey. Yeah, calm yeah, down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is how she get when she get crowd. First, uh, the yeah, yeah. Oh. Well, if she don't get her crowd. Pushy push. Okay. I would not want to upset King Triton. Fifi? Okay. Fifi. Fifi. I don't want to.